Did you know that there's an Easter egg within iOS that's been around since the release of iOS 7 and people are just now finding it? Go ahead, take a look at the voice memos application, specifically the icon. Those waveforms in the middle, turns out those are just waveforms of somebody saying, Apple. Welcome to iSheep. Discover has reached an agreement with Apple to bring support for Discover cards into Apple Pay. So if you do have a Discover card, you're soon going to be able to use that within Apple Pay, but not until fall of 2015. A little late, uh, considering they're one of the big card companies, but uh, what's the saying? Better late than later. Apple has officially released iOS 8.4 Beta 2 for you developers out there. You can now download it, and it features an even further revamped music app pretty much cementing what I thought and what a lot of us think at WWDC, we're totally seeing a completely revamped music app because they gotta do something with Beats Music and iTunes Radio. They gotta combine that somehow like this. Probably takes a little bit more work than this motion right here. But if you're a developer, give us your impressions down below if you have access to this anyway. Wanna see a GIF, 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 GIF of Tim Cook dancing? Here you go. You're welcome. I'm really starting to see a ton of videos and articles online talking about how the stainless steel on the Apple Watch is so easily scratched. It's ridiculous. And I want to thank all of you who are recording those videos and writing those articles. And I'll remember that the next time I strap knives and sandpaper on my wrist next to my Apple Watch that I don't actually have. You know what else is crazy? I hear those bands are bending. I mentioned multiple times on this show that I personally don't really want an Apple Watch. I know, crazy for someone who's so biased and has his own Apple show. You don't want an Apple Watch? What are you talking about, John? I don't want one. It doesn't seem practical within my life, but Chris has one. And currently, while I'm recording this, he's actually live on YouTube with his Apple Watch unboxing. I'm going to put a link down in the description for those of you who missed it. Go watch it now. Well, wait for me to be done, and then you can go. This week's app is RetroSpecs. It's not free, but you can earn a free redeem code by using go.tagjag.com slash free points. And with it, you can either take a new photo or pull one from your library and then push it through a filter that'll make it look like it belonged on a computer system of long ago. That's me as I would look on a Commodore 64 screen, but let me go ahead and show you the processing with a picture of Jedi. There she is in teletext on an Apple II or an Atari 2600. There's also Commodore PET, Intellivision, Sinclair ZX80, IBM DOS, IBM CGA, Acorn BBC Microcomputer, Sinclair ZX Spectrum, Commodore 64, uh -huh. ColecoVision, Dragon 32, Thompson T07, and the list goes on and on, including <sighs> the original Nintendo Game Boy. Game Boy? Not anymore. That's my game girl. So that's the show. If you'd like to do anything, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. There's also a like button down there to show your support. Speaking of support, I say this every week, the patrons, the supernomies are what keeps this show going. Without them, I wouldn't be here. Well, I mean, my mom gave birth to me. I'd still like exist, but I wouldn't be here. You know what I'm saying. Become a supernomy if you haven't already. $2 a month is all you need to show us how much you love us. Even if you don't love us, you can hate us and give us $2. I'm fine with that as well. You can find me here. Uh, this is awkward. I'm gonna go now.